Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is uh, Nyango Lord Jr. Hope you guys are fine. I'm fine too. Shooting this video from uh, Kisumu. So, for the better part of yesterday and today, Dennis Itumbi has been training. I mean the alleged abduction of Dennis Itumbi has been training. And as we know, Dennis Itumbi is not uh, an ordinary Kenyan. We must ask ourselves some few questions. Who is Dennis Itumbi? Actually, Dennis Itumbi is the digital analyst, uh, digital political analyst, right now working for Deputy President Dr. William Ruto. And uh, he's also the self proclaimed, uh, have you heard of this thing, Hustler National Bureau of Intelligence chairman? Yeah. He's been he's self proclaimed, proclaimed himself as the chairman of the Hustler National Bureau of Intelligence. He has been having some information, critical information about the government and uh, state operations. So, another question that we have to ask ourselves is that uh, who can abduct Denis Itumbi? And uh, on whose benefit can Denis Itumbi be abducted? Actually, the person who can abduct, abduct Denis Itumbi must have a uh, state power or must have some. Uh, some uh, some uh, let me call them abilities like you have to have some power with, with around you to abduct this to him because there is to me is one person that uh, has got a lot of information around him and uh, happening around this country so today professor mtahi Muni tweeted an information uh, that uh, really captured a lot of uh, attention in twitter and uh, let me quote him. He said that uh, on the matter of uh, Dennis Itumbi versus the public, we must post the pre bono question. And the question was who benefits? The biggest beneficiary is responsible for, responsible for injuries caused, to, caused on this sand of the soil. Then he concluded that Ikoswali, end of the quote. Then on another tweet, he tweeted again, My friend Dennis Itumbi, UDA is a fellowship of thugs. And you are a pink thug. Soft and untested. Do not joke with Uh, do not joke with uh, getting kidnapped. Hustler are known to eat children. So before we proceed without today's punchline, I have some few requests to make across that uh, if this is the first time you are bumping onto this video and you haven't subscribed, Please take some of a few minutes and consider subscribing into this channel so that any moment that I upload a video you can get notified. Or if this is the first time that you are you're watching this channel and you haven't subscribed, or you've been watching this channel and you haven't, you haven't subscribed, please consider your time and uh, subscribe into this channel. Actually, you can leave some comments in the comment section below and give it a like please if you are capable if you are capable of sharing it here please share it i'll give okay. you some few minutes for some few few moments Dennis to Itumbi is not an ordinary kenya okay thank you and for his for, for his abduction to take place you just don't need to be an ordinary person to abduct Dennis Itumbi it is alleged that uh, Dennis Itumbi has been having a lot of information about the government and about its operation and uh, today Oscar Sudi did a press release from uh, I think his home and uh, it is believed Oscar Sudi is always the mouthpiece of uh, Dr. William Samoy Ruto and from his statement I picked Two important points. One was 
Denis Itumbi was abducted by Mutiambai, the IG. Denis Itumbi has been a thorn on flesh for so many leaders, live alone like Naraila and Uhuru. Denis Itumbi has been a thorn on Mutiambai, Kibicho, and uh, Matiangi. And uh, he has been taking those guys head on without any fear. So, like one week ago, Mutiambai's son knocked down some few border borders. And it, it is alleged that uh, the vehicle that Mutiambai's, Mutiambai's son used to knock down those border borders was the government vehicle. And the uh, number plate of that car was changed to, to I mean to the I mean to from uh, from government now now play to public one. Dennis Itumbi has been on that case, and Oscar Sudi is alleging that Mutiambai arrested uh, I mean abducted Dennis Itumbi to harass him concerning this matter. The second point that I picked from uh, Sudi's press release was that. Uh, They have a lot of information about the government. And there's a part that stated there's a part that is stated that uh, when Dennis Tumi was uh, working for Uhuru Kimugai Kenyatta, he wasn't a bad person. And uh, he stated that Dennis Tumi helped uh, Uhuru Kenyatta on some hack information. And they also like that they've been getting information from the people within the circle of the government. So in simple terms, Sudi was conveying this message to Huru that uh, they have a lot of information with them. And it's only no, it's not only the Institumbi that has this. Number two, there's a press statement that was given out by the group of uh, Akinamurko men, Ndini Nyoro, Kimani Shungwa, I think there's likes. And it was alluding that uh, it's the state that uh, abducted Deni Zitumbi. Take a few minutes and watch this one. Watch this. Is that uh, KRA um, uh, Director General and, uh, and uh, military for this country must not accept to come and play political games on people of Kenya because Mr. Itumbi uh, was being asked about some questions regarding an officer as we've written in this statement working with KRA why he exposed the team that is working with KRA to punish people who support uh, uh, the DP William Ruto and the Hustler Nation uh, and take them to court. These are From the video Murkomen is very clear and uh He's alluding that uh, it's the state that abducted Dennis Itumbi. We are from the point that he's saying that the KRA and the military should not allow themselves or should not allow the government to allow them to play political games with the people of Kenya. Because uh, Mr. Itumbi was being asked some few questions about the carry team that was supposed to be on the neck of some business guys that were about to fund Dr. William Ruto. Few weeks ago, Itumbi posted such information on his, uh, his, on his Facebook uh, page. So Murkomen believes, or Murkomen believes that uh, in the state that abducted Dennis Itumbi, while Oscar Sudi believes that it's Mutiambai that abducted Oscar Sudi. Murkomen and both Murkomen, both Murkomen and uh, Oscar Sudi are tanga tanga guys. Who is giving us the right information? Was Itumbi abducted or is it the sympathy that uh, 
the, that Uda is seeking. We have to ask ourselves a lot of questions. The pictures of Daisy Tumbi going around, there's a picture of Daisy Tumbi going around. Or some, I mean, some blood, blood I don't know if it's a, it's a blood or it's what, oozing out of his, uh, of his eyes. The eye is not swollen. There's no cut in that eye. So far, I haven't seen any, any, any swollen part into his body or any cut part. Did Itumbi abducted himself or somebody abducted Itumbi? For what reason? For whose gain? The third and the last point is that uh, UDA or the Uda or the Tanga Tanga could be sinking sympathy by this Itumbi's abduction saga. Politics is about perception. And masses tend to move to the sides of the oppressors, of those people who are, who are oppressed. You do have mastered this game of seeking sympathy by calling God's name. Always giving these quotes like, they have Godfathers, we have the God, the Father, and God himself. So UDA might also be seeking sympathy from this by abducting, by abducting uh, Daisy Itumbi. We know Itumbi has not been uh, has not been condemning condemning these uh, these issues of abduction and uh, actually has been celebrating them a good number of them. That's why you see the the court was uh, on his throat was really celebrating on this issue. And on the other side, uh, also William Ruto has not been on the forefront of condemning these issues, these, issues, these abduction issues because uh, you see today. Uh, when he tried to uh, to castigate the, this issue of, of, of Itumbi being abducted, a lot of people posted a lot of questions. Like, where was he when Msando was killed? Where has he been? So let's wait for investigation. And... Uh, if you have a suggestion, you can drop in the comment box, comment section below. And last thing I want to tell you that guys, uh, I really appreciate your time. I appreciate it a lot. And please take your time if you haven't subscribed to this channel. Please uh, consider subscribing to this channel. Let's make it let's let's make it great and share it and uh, so that uh, we can reach a uh, a lot of audience. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Otherwise, thank you and bye bye.